Hi there, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Andrea, I have epilepsy. And today we're gonna to talk about kids who have epilepsy and what to do when they're having a seizure. More specifically, what to do during and after their seizure. All right, so um, this is for the caregivers, uh, your parent, sibling, just whoever's around. Disclaimer, there's gonna be exceptions to what I'm talking about, right? So leave in the comments if you have a different experience, if you think something might be a little different to what I'm talking about, but this is just an overall um, advice that I feel I can give if you're wondering, uh, there might be a better approach. Okay, out of the way. Um, so, you know, a lot of videos I've seen or experiences I've heard is obviously as a caregiver, it's gonna be sometimes even more traumatic than the person having a seizure because it is just so, such a helpless feeling, especially if it's a child, your child specifically, um, with some of the bigger seizures, the tonic clonics, the grand malls, um, you see them flailing about, um, making horrible noises, the guttural crying, the whatever. One thing I can tell you specifically from my experience alone, during those, I'm gonna focus on tonic clonic seizures for this video, grand malls. Um, it does not hurt during that seizure. You are not aware, you don't know what's going on. Um, those horrible noises, screams you hear, that's not from pain. You are not feeling that. That's the muscles contracting, your vocal cords contracting, air being pushed out of us. So it's terrifying to hear, to see, but just know that's scary for the caregiver, not for the person experiencing that. So just know that, that it, it, none of this hurts. Now, people might be biting their tongue while they're doing that. I don't, thank goodness, but it doesn't hurt in the moment. It might hurt after during the post But yeah, it, now if, you know, somebody falls down while they bust their head open, all that kind of stuff, that's a whole different experience. I'm not covering that in this video. But during the actual seizure, the spasms, the flailing, all that doesn't hurt. Um, so lots of times, kids when they come out of it um it's it's very confusing you don't know what just happened um and again postictal it, it can last anywhere from 10 minutes to you know an hour it's different for each kid um if you your kid has had seizures for a while you you kind of know how long it's going to take if you're new to it just kind of you know, figure it out how long it takes before they're fully back with you <sighs> just imagine you're in the kids shoes right you you finally come out of it you don't know what's happened you you're very confused. Your parent, let's just say the parent's the caregiver, right? You're the kid. You've come out of it. You're confused. You don't know what's happened. And your parent is crying, hugging you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you okay? Oh my gosh. What just happened? I love you so much. They're shaking. They're crying. They're hugging you. You don't know what the hell's gone on, but now you're scared because your, your parent is scared. They're crying. They're hugging. You don't know if something traumatic has just happened. You're confused. I don't know where you are. And it's scary for you, right? Now imagine you've just come out of it. You're confused. You're a bit worried and your parent is sitting there going it's okay you just had a seizure you're safe we're at home but it's okay what can i do for you that would be a more calming environment to come back into right try and be that your child i know it can be horrifying to see but if you can be a calming presence for your kid when they come out of it just let them know they're safe you know what you had a seizure you're you're not as long as you as a parent can understand that they weren't hurting during that. That was just their, their muscles, their brain going crazy, but they're okay now. Especially once you understand that seizures are going to be a part of their life, your life now, until hopefully you get it under control. You're just going to have to learn how to deal with it and hopefully give them a sense of calm and peace. As long as mom, caretaker, whatever is calm about it and makes them feel safe about it, they're going to feel safer about it and not as confused and scared. So try and save the tears, the scariness, the, oh, thank God, you're okay, oh my God, thank God. We wanna feel that, say, but do it in a calm manner, say, you're safe, it was it was just a seizure. Now, during their post period, right, they're, they're not gonna be able to talk to you or communicate with you for a while. They might be like, I'm okay, I'm okay. And then like three minutes later, what just happened? It may seem like it, because my husband during my first post period had to tell me three times I just had a seizure, because I didn't remember him telling it to me. So you'll you'll learn with your kid when how long their postictal phase lasts right but um during during that postictal phase after the main seizure is over try and get everything ready for them for when they come out of it if they typically wet themselves try and get towels ready change them if you can so that's done if they bite their tongue try and get ice pack ready for them clean up whatever you need to do if they're typically super tired get them in a place, get pillows ready, have everything. You can use that time when you know that they're coming to and they aren't aware of what's going on. Get all that stuff ready so that they can 
come to in a warm, comfortable environment where they're not confused, they're not scared, they aren't seeing their caretaker panicking, just feeling supported and safe. That's huge for them. Um, also for if they have siblings, the siblings also get freaked out and scared. They, especially if they see that going on and they see the parent freaking out it makes them freak out and they don't understand what's going on. If they can hear, it's okay. They just had a seizure. They'll be all right in a little bit. That's, that's huge. So try and take it on that level. Um, one other thing that I have found is interesting or helpful. If your kid likes playing video games or on the computer a lot, try to describe it to them as their seizure is their brain glitching. It's going through a glitch, it's going crazy. And their post phase is their brain restarting. And as you know, during a restart, you can't open up or restart any programs, right? Or any apps, whatever. It's gonna turn back on and get back to normal on its own time, whenever it wants. So when you're trying to talk to them, are you okay? Are you back? Can I do anything for you? And they're not responding. That's the brain still restarting in its restart phase. And it's gonna come back online when it's ready. So if you try to explain it to them like that, your brain just had a little glitch. It just glitched for a little while and it just needs to restart to get back online. Um, it kind of makes more sense to them that way. And um, this is for the older kids. Um, it, it makes more sense to them sometimes. You may not want to, it's up to each individual person, but showing them a video of what happens. Um, it may sound weird, but sometimes they want to see what is happening. You might want to show them a video of somebody else. Like myself, I can link one up here where I'm having one, but I describe in detail what is going on with my brain through each phase and why it's happening. So it's more clinical and kind of shows why it's not as scary. Um, but show them a video of somebody else having one first and say, do you want to see what happens with you? Um, so you know why the reaction is what it is. Um, for older kids, it makes a lot more sense and maybe not as scary. It's like, oh, okay, that's what my body's doing. Just so they understand a little bit better. Again, that's up to each individual person, but uh, some kids, if you ask them, they absolutely do want to know what their own body is doing during those times. Um, and one last piece of advice um, I can offer to caregivers, to parents, which again, it's up to you if you want to, um, is videotape their seizures, record it. Um, three reasons. One, again, this is different levels of what you're going through. Three reasons. One, unfortunately, some doctors may not believe you. They might, oh, they're just having a little fit or whatever. Uh, good to have proof. Two, insurance companies may fight you. Um, it's good to have visual proof that they're happening this often, plus it's date recorded on the video. Um, three, if you're going through medication changes or something like that, um, you may not notice certain things have changed during the actual seizure, but you can go back and say, oh, on this medication change, now their eyes aren't darting back and forth anymore. Or oh, with this medication change, now his left leg is jerking where it wasn't before. It's just a good way to tell that things are or aren't changing. And it's just a good, you know, recording of things that haven't happened. If you want to take it a step further, you can start a YouTube channel and bring even more awareness and more help for other people that uh, are desperately trying to find <laughs> avenues of more help and build this community. But again, it's, it's tough to put all this online. So I understand if you're not ready for that. But again, um, hopefully this has brought some help and clarity to some people. Um, but yeah, just try and um, give a nice calming space for kids that have uh, seizures. And hopefully a calming space for you just to understand this is a long journey that you're going to go through. Hopefully um, it can be controlled by medication or surgery if you need to. But uh, just let the kids know that you've got it if you need to go and break down. I absolutely understand it. Just try and do it in a private space. Let let your kids know that you're there with them, but uh, that it's a comfortable safe space. I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> but if you guys have any additional um, thoughts or feelings or suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. And um, I will see you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and see ya. Bye.